Oh, now we can save. That's right, we need to save. Alright, let's see what this has for us. Nominee. He's remembering Nominee. Yep. <sighs> what do you think, guys? This place is even creepier than I remember. Well, they do say that this mansion is haunted. That's what they say. Hey there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the heart attack. Oh, what? Did I scare you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> bad. Oh, the three of them. Whatever. So, how did it go? Did you get any leads? <laughs> nope. Braid not. The asking around thing was a total bust. Yep. This old mansion is our last hope. You guys ready? Another Twilight Town awaits. <clears throat> yeah. Here we go. Eh, the password was uh sea salt ice cream, right? Okay, I'm in. Let's get that transporter working. Uh, uh. Oh man, the transporter's been protected. Protected from what? I guess from us? We can't use it to get to the other Twilight Town. Why not? It worked before. We sent Sora there. Well, that was then. And this is now. And there's no other way? None that I know. Great. Well, huh? Hello, Sora. You wouldn't happen to be in front of a computer. Huh? Well, yeah. But how'd you know that? I was tinkering with Ansem's computer. You know, to decrypt the code that was left in it. And I noticed that someone had logged in from another terminal. I figured it might be you. Uh, oh, yeah, the log terminal. You don't know any slug. Uh, oh, and what? You do? <laughs> I know I haven't got a clue. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Then, uh... Who was it that logged in? Oh, hi there. This is Pence. I'm the one who logged into the computer. Good. As long as it's a user that we know we can trust. Yup. But I'm kind of stuck here. Hmm. One of the programs is protected, so... I can't uh... run it. Which program? Uh... The transporter to the other Twilight Town. Uh... It's the only way to find Roxas. You gotta help us. Another Twilight Town? And a transporter? Okay. A virtual town inside the computer made of data. A datascape? Fellas! Mm hmm We've seen one. That's what we used once to investigate Jiminy's journal. Maybe I can do something. Pence, 
Let's get a network set up. My address here is... Oh, we didn't get the IP address. <coughs> Sora's taking a nap. Okay, sharing is enabled. <gasps> huh? Were you able to fix it? Now that our two computers have been successfully networked together, I can take control of the terminal there and change the privileges. And Roxas? Yes. For the virtual world to be completely realized, Ansem the Wise would have included Roxas's full data in the construction. Meaning, somewhere on your machine there's a log of that data that... Uh... Basically, we can decipher Ansem's code more quickly. And we can analyze the virtual Twilight Town while we're at it. Okay, great. I can't computer, so do that. I can't Glad computer. You're following along. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Chip and Dale will be helping me out here on this end. I'll call you back as soon as we know anything more. Thanks. Oh, before I forget, a bit of troubling news. It's about one of the organization's former members. You knew him as Vexen. But to us, he was Ansem's apprentice, Evan. He was recompleted like the rest of us. But hadn't regained consciousness yet. Then, sometime after Lee left, Evan vanished. Alias and Dylan, the two you knew as Lexius and Zaldin, they went out looking for him, but he's just gone. And I'm starting to worry. Oh? You think he's on their side? I think it's a real possibility. He's a devious researcher. You should be careful. All right. Thanks. Oh no! We got work! I totally forgot! Really? Work? But what about all this? Hey, both are important. We're gonna need some cash to go to the beach. Also, don't forget the pretzels. Gotta buy four now. Hmm? Uh... Oh, I get it. He's thinking ahead. <laughs> yep, he is. Later, Sora. And hey, hello there, Puma See Oblivion. You, Bye, Donald. Goofy. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, and since I'm manning the computer here, you guys are in charge of earning my share. No pretzel for pants. Oh, other things about it? <laughs> hey! Hmm. <laughs> Is that not the right code? I think I actually did that wrong. No, it did. It just took forever. No, that can't be right. So what's next? Oh, it's not KH3. It's KH rules. You must be present and actually in order to win. Uh, let me edit my title for that. And I'll be giving it away at random. I don't know when I'm going to give it away. I might give it away when I go take my lunch, which might be in two hours. But it will be given away at some point today. by Either now or as late as six hours from now. It's been going on the entire time. Ooh, the PS4 is a... Getting the heat on. Just check back every once in a while. Uh, or you could do like so what Brutus you does. You can bring Roxas back. Because he has it, uh. He has chats up. And it will <laughs> notify you in chat. Semnus. Roxas should have never existed in the first place. <laughs> what Thank you, you for seek becoming. Is impossible. A dragon of the. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside again. my heart. And in the unlikely event you did manage to separate the two, where is it you think you can put his heart? Well, Roxas used to live in the other Twilight Town, right? So, I'm just gonna put him back there. Do you even realize what you are saying? 
The other Twilight Town is just data. Leave the lurk on. All Heart good. Heart can live anywhere, even inside data. There are hearts all around us. Hmm. Ansem and Zemnis used to be part of the same person, right? But look, now they exist separately just fine. Uh. If they can do it, then I don't see any reason why you and Roxas can't find a way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you tell them, Captain Goofy. <laughs> In that case, by all means. Nothing would please us more than Roxas's return, of course. You wish? He'll never answer to you again. Still so blind. A nobody is what's left behind. When one gives his heart to darkness, there is only one way to bring Roxas back, which is for you to give your heart up as well. Sora, have you finally decided to call upon the darkness? <gasps> what? Go on then. The shadows are never out of reach. <sighs> now, set your heart free. Okay, the two of them are so weird. One's a heartless, one's a nobody. It's not darkness. Not if it helps him. We got this. I know what to do. Here we go. Tactical Goofy Nuke. Gold Goofy Nuke! Go get him! Come on! Magic up! said he said with all my heart okay then all my heart it is I'm getting Roxas out are you with me Donald goofy <laughs> I'm I'm not that far in I'll say I that don't much. know what Ansem and Zemnis want because I am I'm being thorough I'm the checking out everything out. Okay then, let's head back to town. Can we go in? Can we go in the mansion, please? Oh wait, we've already been in the mansion. That's right. Can I go in or no? Okay. So that cutscene was only for that. All right, so let's head back through the forest. There's no treasure around here, right? How is the treasure situation going for? All right, we're just missing one. We gotta find this one in Twilight Town. The woods. 
Come out. Splash run. Fresh with how good this game is. For the short amount of time I've been playing it, I am so thoroughly happy. Splash run! this last treasure chest is. I've already got that. Blaze. Blazing! Blazing! Just for the fun of it. Well, I bet you there's a lucky emblem here. Yep, there it is! It's like, why would they have us do running if there wasn't something here? Hey, look at that. <laughs> nice. Down we go. Everything's back. Everything's back that I destroyed. And more items. Oh, that is so generous of them. Hey there. <laughs> God, I love these ride. I love these ride things. So fun, and of course, gotcha. <laughs> oh, so much fun. More items. I love this. So we're finally outside, outside. So let's run up this wall. 
Naruto style. Okay, so now what? Well, bless Whoa. my bagpipes. It was you laddies who rescued my chef. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge! Huh? Uncle Scrooge! Wait, didn't he sell ice cream in Hollow Bastion? That's right. But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a world traveler. Cool. <laughs> How are you, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, hello, Sora. You're looking hale and hearty. Hale and hearty. I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Uh, why did you have to say that? Hey, so, Puma. Uncle Scrooge. Hey, Puma. Just so you know, even if you don't get it today, you get a chance tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. I'm giving a one, giving away one each day for five days. What's that you were saying about a shelf? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for you. Hmm. What is it? Oh! Cake! What is it with Japanese games, or JRPG games, and their fascination with delicious-looking food? Oh my god, they're making me hungry. The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does? Why keep it under my hat? May I introduce Little Chef? Oh, oh it's you. Uncle Scrooge, you open the bistro and try on town. Aye. It all started a little while ago when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So I thought, that's an opportunity. And I financed the whole operation. Ooh, I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients. Especially anything unusual. That'll be fun. Kinda like a scavenger hunt. And the more the better. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of little chef's food. Yeah. <laughs> that tart sure did look scrumptiously delicious. Scrumptiously okay. delicious. The ingredient hunt is on. Oh. Yes! Cooking! Little Chef's Bistro! At Little Chef's Bistro, you can transform the ingredients you've gathered into delicious meals. Eating the cuisine you prepare will grant you benefits, effects, like temporary stat increases. The recipe is available at the Bistro depending on the ingredients you've gathered, so be sure to scour each world you visit for making your find most powerful recipes. Be needing a wee bit more before cooking can begin. Oh, okay. oh, I need mean, nine. Still short. Let's keep searching. Oh, but I, 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 I've already knocked everything out of everything here. Oh, everything's back. Beautiful. Sora's a break dancer. Alright, so... Oh, wait, hold on. Isn't this... Wait, where, where's the Moogle? Oh, I can't talk to any of them until I get this done. Little Chef needs more ingredients. We better keep an eye out. Oh, there's the last one. 
All the treasure done. Oh, this is... Caviar? Let's see if there's more. Okay, okay, okay. There should be... Soul, okay. We can't leave. Little Chef still needs our help. I'm not leaving. Jeez. Crazy yeah. kid. <laughs> Lemon. Nice. <laughs> nice. Imagine the yummy stuff Little Chef will whip up with this. <laughs> All right, so I just need one more. Over here, maybe? Hey, guys! Oh, huh? Hayner, Olette. Uh, hey, boss. Uh, Done with the posters. Uh -huh. Hey, good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the bistro. Um, do we? He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, Sora. Sure. Hold your phone up to the poster. Oh, uh, I was gonna say. There, you've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. You download this, Uncle Scrooge? Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment, and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry, and eager to spend their money. <laughs> <laughs> Ever the businessman. Uncle Scrooge. Gore, she sure is canny. I always wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh, yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure, but don't we have you guys to take care of them for us? You have to leave again? Mm-hmm. But we'll definitely be back. When are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy, Kyrie, brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. Mm. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, th this is just good wholesomeness of the game. Come on up, girl. I know you want to be in my lap. Zigbar. Three of Z three Xehanorts. Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes, just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. 
Let's not.